Hello, Total Henry here, and I'd like to make a quick video. In this video, as you can tell by the title, I have some comic books and manga that I'm going to show you. And before I show you that, I want to quickly apologize for the lack of videos. I've been at the RISD pre-college program for the past six weeks. Um, RISD stands for Rhode Island School of Design and it's a very intense art program and I just got back and I was able to post videos because I made a stockpile before I left. So I hope to, with this video, ease back into making videos, hopefully having one video up every day. And I thought showing some of the comic books I got would be a nice sort of transition back into video making. Um, I will put a link in the description for the RISD pre-college program if you're interested in checking it out and I highly recommend this program. It was a lot of fun. So when I, I didn't buy this in, in Providence, but when I came home I had these two uh, comics waiting for me and I just thought I, I would show them. This is Amazing Spider-Man number three and then Amazing Spider-Man number four. This is an original Sin uh, tie-in. So I didn't buy those in Providence. They were just waiting for me when I came home. So now this, these are just things I bought in Providence. Now I got these three books at the RISD uh, art store. These were all uh, half off. And this one is an American comic called Loveless, A Kin of Homecoming. And... I will show the back if anyone wants to read read what it says right there. Uh, you can just pause the video. It's just about some guy coming home after the Civil War. It's not, not that great. I'll give you a peek, peek at the art inside. It has an interesting art style. It's a little bit hard to tell uh, what the characters are just by the way it's drawn. Um, I, didn't, I read it. I didn't really like it that much. Then I also got this, Battle Angel Alita, Killing Angel. This is volume three of this series, but you wouldn't know that because it doesn't say that anywhere. Um, I checked online, so I have not read this yet. I'll have to read the first two volumes online or either find them somewhere. And it looks pretty cool. I've heard good things about this series. The art looks uh, fairly interesting, so I can't wait to read this. And then, again, I oops, picked this up because this was half off. Ranma One Half, Volume 18. I read this series a while ago, read it online. It's nice to finally support the official release by buying a volume. And this isn't... This is a series that I think everyone should read at least once. It's not a series that I'm going to want, want to collect just, just because it got old after a while. The first few volumes were really funny, but it's the same thing for 30 volumes that doesn't change that much. But, you know, this is a funny series and everyone should check it out. It's by the author of uh, Inuyasha, and this was her first big, big hit. Then next I got Gantz. I finished this series when I was in Providence. I finished it online and I'd like to collect all the volumes. Word of warning, Gantz, there's a lot of fan service and a lot of blood, so you should really be careful if, if you're gonna gonna read this. Um, let me see if I can find an appropriate page that doesn't involve any of those aspects. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed Gantz, if any of you know, know the series. Um, it's better early on at the end it, it, it just got, got weird, but no, at least the f a lot of the earlier volumes I think I will try, try and buy. So I just grabbed Gantz at a comic book store in Providence. Then this one is Hulk Split Decisions. This collects Incredible Hulk 60 to 65, as you can see right up there. Um... And I'm not a fan of Hulk. I've never read anything. But my uh, teacher in Providence, I took a comic book class there. That was what I uh, chose to uh, major in. You can read more about that on the website. Again, the, the link will be in the description. He gave out sort of gifts at the end, just sort of randomly. And I picked this uh, Hulk, Hulk book to take. So 
I'll read this, I'll give it a try, and maybe I'll I'll get it get in the Hulk. Then I w went back to that comic book store and bought Batman Detective Comics Volume Three Emperor Penguin. Uh, only Batman new Fifty Two Batman comic thing I read. This one has thirteen to eighteen in it. And this is a was a pretty interesting one. I want to keep reading Batman D Detective Comics. I like it. I'm still pre pretty far far behind. Um, so yeah, overall this was a, a fa fairly good read. I'm trying to keep this video short. Then I also got Aquaman uh, Volume Three, The Throne of Atlantis. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that these ones, this and the Batman one, and also the Hulk one are are trade ins. This one has Aquaman 0, 14 to 16, and Justice League 15 to 17. I was a little disappointed that it had the Justice League in it because I just wanted the Aquaman story, but the story flows seamlessly, and this is a great story. If you are not reading Aquaman New 52, you have to check it out because he, just from this series, has become probably one of my favorite, uh, favorite superheroes. Then I also got Daredevil, Frank Miller's run on Daredevil, Volume 1. This is something I have not yet read and I'm, I'm looking forward, forward to reading. Um, the Aquaman book was great, but I think this is going to blow it out of the water. This has Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man, 27 to 28, Daredevil, 158 to 161, and 163 to 172. And this, these are the Daredevil stories written by Frank Miller. As you can see, this is sort of older stuff. I think this was in the 70s. Maybe it has a year in the back. Uh, yeah, I think this was 79 to 83. That's what the back says. So, for old style art, Daredevil, I've read some of the newer things, and he's also one of my favorite, favorite superheroes. So, this is something that I'm going to read and just probably reread over and over again, because this seems great. Then I also got an art book. This is Drawing Comic Book Action. Just sort of a thing about action, has various sort of action poses. I haven't spent too much time looking at this book. Um, I, I hope to do so in the coming days. Different sort of poses. David and Goliath. I think that's Berserker. There's a punch. So yeah, this is a pretty interesting thing. And then my favorite thing that I got is this Pogo set big pogo uh, box set you can see there's an, another book inside here one book here that I'm currently reading and this is the complete uh, pogo comic strips um, yeah they are republishing all the pogo uh, comic strips and these are the first two volumes as you can see this is volume 2 51 to 52 and this is 49 to 1950, so really high, high quality books. It has dailies, uh, daily strips, and it also has some of the sun Sunday strips right here. Great book. I've been reading this. This is what I've been reading the past few days, and I've fallen in love with Pogo, and I'd like to f try to find the other um, volumes. The introduction to this thing said there's probably going to be 12 books. I don't think they're all out yet. I've seen maybe three and four online. I'll, I might think about buying those if I really enjoy these first two volumes. Um, this was a, a great deal. It was at, at a bookstore, and the box for both of these said it was $70. I got this for 20 so this was an absolute steal. So just wanted to make a quick video showing some book books I got because you know I like buying comic books and I like showing you guys what I got and I thought it would be a nice video to ease my way back into making uh, videos hopefully every single day I'd love to have Pokemon videos up every single day and any other videos in addition to that so stay tuned for that